What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of Attack once again, and we have an exciting update from 1.0 Minor version 1.2.4. We're going to be going over the patch notes as well as applying it to a couple of my rigs at my farm to see if we actually get any improvements. Let's get into it. Welcome back. So hopping into the patch notes real quick, we have hash rate and efficiency improvements, which I'm hoping will bring the NVIDIA GPUs closer to the efficiency of AMD GPUs, which have been topping the efficiency charts over at hashrate.no for quite some time now. They also added a new tuning parameter called NT. This is a kernel launch parameter and the value can be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, or 32. This can be set per GPU, just like your overclock options. They added an auto tuner for that parameter as well. They revised atomic update failures to allow five minutes of running with no atomic update and some other minor bug fixes, which are not elaborated upon. I do have it already up and ready at my Hive OS to go ahead and start going through it. You can see here I have 1660 supers on version 1.2.3 running right now, and they are overclocked. Yes, with the cord set 1710 and the memory at negative 1004 with a power level of 80 watts. It's currently getting about two kilohash a second at around 80 watts. I already had a hive shell open, but we're going to go ahead and open another one because it looks like it did close out. And then I'll show you guys the command we're going to utilize to update these rigs. Once Hive Shell is up, you'll just click Hive Shell and go into the Hive Shell here real quickly. And once it is up, I am going to do a quick miner command. What this is going to do is give me some more details on my miner. And I want to look at the efficiency here, which is reporting as 25 hash per watt. I'm going to go ahead and screen cap that for later. Now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and do a control A plus D. That's going to get us back to here. And what we are going to do is copy and paste this command. I'll leave it down in the description for you guys below. You'll paste into this box here and say, okay, it'll put it in here. Basically, this is going to change directory into a temp folder and download the latest release. And then it's going to unzip it into the one zero minor folder, specifically the 1.2.3 here. And then it's going to start the miner up again. That is basically what we are looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter and it will go through the process and we'll make sure that it gets going right now. That's downloading it. Then you can see it unpacking it here and then we will see the miners exit and restart. And then we will go ahead and run the miner command and we will wait until the this gets going here shortly. While we wait on that, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the other rigs. I think the biggest one, of course, is going to be the 3070s. And right here, we have a, a whole box of 3070s running. They're at 1470 core and 2200 mem with a power level of 140. They were mining a ET hash B3 for Ethereum. We're going to go ahead and see what they're at with these particular settings. They're at 3.8 kilohash a second at 113 watts. I'm going to go ahead and start the hive shell here as well. Now that the hive shell is running, once again, repeat the process. Open the hive shell. We're going to run miner. And we're going to take a look at our efficiency per watt right now, sitting at about 30 to 33 hash per watt on each unit. We're going to go ahead and do a quick capture of this so I have references for later. And then we're going to do the control AD. And then I am going to just right click and say paste from browser once again. Paste that same command that will be down in the description below and click OK. And then press enter and let it run through the download process. And then we will run the minor command and let that get up and going. And I have one more rig here that we're going to throw it on. A lot of mine are shut down today because it is extremely hot. But I do have this 3070 rig that we will go ahead and apply this to. As you can see, we have a 3050, some 2080 Ti's in here. Huge disparity between these two. I am going to talk about that in another video. And then we have our Gigabyte and our Colorful here, a 3070, a 3080. We're really going to be concerned about the 3080 here. 3080 being 5.6 kilohash a second at 225 watts. The 2080 Ti that's performing well is at 4.9 kilohash a second at 239 watts. The, the 
3050 is at two kilohash a second at 116 watts. So I'm going to go ahead and get the hive shell started here as well. Going to click in, repeat the same process and open my shell. Type in miner to open up 1.2.3 and go ahead and get a screenshot of this as well for comparison later. It looks like we are sitting at somewhere around 17 kilo or hash per watt on the 3050, 21 hash per watt on the 2080 Ti, 34 hash per watt on the 3070, and 25 hash per watt on the 3080. I'm going to go ahead and control A D. And then we're going to right click and say paste from browser and paste that command that once again will be down in the description below if you need it for yourself. Press enter and run the minder command so we can go ahead and take a look. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop on over to a couple of the other ones and see if we've had any changes. There is something I have noticed here. We have the 1.0 minor 1.2.4 so we do know that this is running. If we take a look at the hash rates, the actual efficiency is still sitting between 30 and 33 hash per watt. Of course, when it gets through its auto tune, you can see down here that we are actually getting closer to 40 hash per watt, which is quite a big jump in efficiency. And these are all sitting at now 4.8 to nine hash per watt, much better than it was previously. So I'm gonna go ahead and screen cap that one as well. So for the 3070s, a huge improvement already. If we take a look at our 1660 supers, it looks like we are sitting at about almost 30 hash per watt, which is also pretty significantly better. I don't recall exactly. So let's go ahead and pop in and I will bring up the previous snapshot here. So as you can see, we were sitting at around 25 hash per watt on the 1660 supers on 1.2.3. And now we are sitting at about almost 30 hash per watt, 27 to 30 hash per watt, just depending on which one it is. So definitely an improvement on the 1660 super side finally we just need to wait for this one to get clicked in it does look like it has started running but unfortunately you know we do need to give it a little bit more time to get in that auto tune remember you can also start tweaking this these with your parameters yourself or with the nt parameter yourself i'm not going to do that in today's video but we will go ahead and look at that later i'm sure a lot more will be covered in the discord so make sure you follow along over there as well so it does look like we've started to click over the 3050 is at 2.1 kilohash a second at 113 watts which is 18.57 hash per watt and previously we were at 17 we might have to give it a little bit more time but we'll take we'll keep taking a look here it looks like the 2080 Ti is at 5.69 kilohash a second at 228 watts, showing 24 hash per watt. Previously, it was at 21 hash per watt at 4.9 kilohash a second. So definitely getting improvements on the 2080 Ti. And the 3080 at 6.83 kilohash a second at a 30 hash per watt. And if we click over once again, it looks like we were at 25 hash per watt previously at 5.63 kilohash per watt. So definitely getting improvements and we'll have to see where it goes from here. The biggest improvement does seem to be the 3070s, which is going to be, I think, music to most miners ears here because they are just, you know, ubiquitous at this point. Lots of people utilizing 3070s. So getting up to that 40 hash per watt is beneficial. But if we compare that to the AMD side of things, it's not quite as stark a difference as you would hope it would be, right? We're still not really seeing that 6600 XT performance of a 60 hash per watt. It's still not getting there even up to the 6800 with 53 hash per watt, but the 3070s are much better than than they were previously. And so we'll just have to sit back and see if more tweaks are found to make this even better. You can see here the 3070 is showing about 43 hash per watt. I think it might even be better. Uh, this is probably still on one zero minor. So minor a little bit lower just because of 
once again the clocks that we have in we are not running the optimized clocks that hashrate.no is showing of course when we start talking about the amd side of things tuning wise on srb minor i don't have to do anything for my 6600 xts to hit this i actually don't even have to touch any of the overclocks so there is a little bit of a benefit there from ease of use on the 6000 series side of things so that's going to wrap it up we are seeing five to ten hash per watt in initial testing improvement on Dynex with 1.0 minor version 1.2.4. Once again, you can check the description for the command I ran to get that updated in Hive OS. While you're down there, check out my locals, which you can become a supporter on and gain access to my daily moves and insights. And you can even get a free month of supporter status on my locals with the purchase of my crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com. And right now is really the time in which you want to start implementing a cryptocurrency mining strategy thanks to the price of bitcoin asic miners and asic miners in general being a tenth of what they were and that is also actually even lower than it was in the previous cycle compared to the bitcoin price i'll be covering this in more detail in tomorrow's video at 6 p.m central standard time so make sure you have the subscribe button and the notification bell click down below so you are able to be the first to check that one out. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.